Okay, folks, I came back to the job yesterday that we had put on a leak search. We filled it up with approximately 300 pounds of nitrogen. And when you see this, you're going to say, well, it's less than 300 pounds. You know, when you have a temperature difference, temperature, uh, the, the warmer the temperature, the higher the pressure, the lower the temperature, the lower the pressure. So don't be alarmed if you see it off plus or minus 7 pounds PSI. So I just want to point out once again how we done this. We put a separate line on the condenser with a pressure gauge. We recovered the refrigerant, R22, and put a 300 pound PSI nitrogen test on it. We did the same thing with the line set. We put a test port in the line. We sorted off the other end. We looped it in the attic. And we put it on 300, uh, 300 pounds PSI. Here's the loop I was telling you about. Now what happened, we left it on for approximately 24 hours. Come in here. This is down approximately 60 PSI. Now we have determined without the shadow of a doubt that the leak is in the indoor coil. This particular unit is a train. So we're going to call the manufacturer and we're going to see about finding a coil for this. Also, I want you to look at the date. It's a 2002. If you have any questions about coil replacements, leak searches, test, line set sizes, anything like that, just give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning, 239-596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.